Well, Marvel fans, I cannot believe it, but apparently WandaVision Episode 8 has really upset many of you. Correct. Apparently, some fans feel specifically trolled by Kevin Feige about the Evan Peters Fox X-Men thing, and they believe that in Episode 8, it is proven that it's just a weird cameo just to mess with us. But alas, I'm not so sure, ladies and gentlemen. What's up, everybody? It's Josh. Welcome back to the channel. Smash that like button and a big reminder that a large part of what we are doing with the Den of Nerds in 2021 and beyond is happening over on our live streaming channel. All right, so WandaVision Episode 8 has aired. It's blown all the minds of everyone that has watched it. Fans are discussing the many different revelations, teases, and surprises from the episode. But what has surprised me has been the fact that not only is there a large portion of Marvel fans that did not love the episode, episode. Yeah, I'm not sure what that's about. But there were even fans that feel trolled by Feige and they believe that the Evan Peters Quicksilver thing is just clearly a wackadoo sort of tease that people have read way too far into and that all of this multiverse stuff that we've been talking about here on the channel and that many other people have been talking about is all being blown way out of proportion. And so let's talk about this. I mean, frankly, the jury is out. And until we get the last and final episode, we will not know for sure. And it is possible that we even leave that episode without knowing for sure. However, slight spoiler warning for you, ladies and gentlemen, and you will know if you've been following the content over here or on the live streaming channel, we follow a lot of different insiders, scoopers, and leakers that talk about different aspects of the show. Two things that have been talked about since the beginning of time when it comes to covering WandaVision have been A, that Agatha is actually not the villain controlling Wanda, which was actually proven to be correct in episode 8, and that that is indeed the Evan Peters Quicksilver from the Fox X-Men movies. And there are scoopers still holding strong to this, still saying to this day that it is definitely going to be the Fox X-Men Quicksilver and that you will get that resolved in the final episode. And I mean, this makes sense. The last time we see Quicksilver, he's literally interacting with Monica. Major character interaction there. Some people think they're going to fight, but some leaks indicate that Evan Peters will actually be communicating with Monica there to enlist her her help. And so let's talk about what she says. What does Agatha Harkness say in this episode that has Marvel fans so upset? She says, I got close with fake Pietro or Fietro. And a lot of people think, well, that's clearly it indicating that it's fake Pietro. That means it's not the real one, which means it's not anything but just some illusion that she created. But then Agatha goes on to pretty ex explicitly state that that's not what's going on. She talks about how necromancy was a non-starter because her actual brother was on a different continent, which is strange and perhaps just some limitation of her magical abilities, but also that he was shot to pieces. She then talks about how she didn't just create that or that wasn't her completely, but it was her eyes and ears. It was a possession spell. And so she possessed a Quicksilver or a speedster and made that person look like Pietro. But I'm going to do you one further because I think that we will find that that is an actual Pietro that somehow Agatha was able to grab and mind control from perhaps a different reality. And you might be like, well, why other than just leaks and the fact that it would be really cool, do you believe that it is the one from the Fox X-Men? Well, there are several clues. Number one, in the audio descriptive title that does suggest and say to people that it is the Quicksilver from the Fox X-Men movies. And on top of that, the last couple of episodes have shown Fox television shows, both Malcolm in the Middle and Yo Gabba Gabba, both of which are run through the Fox licensing, which was the same licensing and company that held the X-Men rights, which now have reverted back to Disney. Perhaps just a subtle hint that Fox X-Men stuff is happening. On top of that, Feige recently talked about how the decision to bring Evan Peters Quicksilver in was made very early on in the development of WandaVision. And if WandaVision is going to the places we think it is, that decision was made for a specific reason. And that reason was not just 
to troll everyone. On top of that, guys, don't we literally see another version of the Scarlet Witch in this episode? Something weird goes on where she sees that version of either herself or an alternate reality version of her or her possibly even her mother or something to that degree from sort of an alternate reality or dimension. Now, before we get out of here, let's kind of dwell on the idea of Agatha Harkness and this crazy power that she has. What is this ability and this magic that she has that is the darkest magic there is? Could it be the book that she takes Wanda's attention away from? The dark hold, that crazy thing that is allowing her to have these abilities that she can use even within the hex is it connected to nightmare does it have something to do with infinity stones or multiverse interdimensional magic itself we don't know exactly guys but with dr strange being heavily rumored for the final episode with wanda being rumored to be setting up crazy multiverse things including maybe the j jonah jameson thing that we see in spider-man far from home and then the absolutely confirmed reality that wanda will be in Doctor Strange 2 into the Multiverse of Madness, which is said to be littered with insane cameos, including Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, Tom Cruise as Iron Man, and potentially even Chris Evans as Hydra Cap now. So the more rumors that stack up about Doctor Strange 2, the more we think, wow, Wanda could really open up. And it's possible that this final episode is literally too hours of screen time so there's so much time left that they can do cool things in the show so i just wanted to make this video address the evan peters situation i still think he's from the fox x-men universe that's not confirmed we will find out hopefully soon i know some people disagree so let us know your thoughts about this in the comment section below but either way guys just wanted to talk about this it's pretty wild wandavision upsetting marvel fans but uh maybe th that whole situation will have a happy ending let us know what you think about it in the comment section below as i always say i hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day and i'll see you in the next video